Hello fuckers, it's Archie Luxury here. And today, this weekend, is the Salvation Army's Red Shield Appeal. And I'd just like to read an article from the Age newspaper to anyone who's considering donating to the Salvation Army. Here we go. This is a newspaper article, 30th of January 2014. Some boys knew it as the cage, others the lockup, a small cell with iron bars built into the door. As for youngsters at the Salvation Army's Riverview training farm in Queensland, it was a place of dread. Some of those who broke the rules at the institution were placed in the dark space by the Salvation Army officers charged with their care and kept there for days and even weeks. The Royal Commission into Institutional Responses to Child Sexual Abuse heard on Wednesday. One day me and two other guys did something wrong. I forget what it was and we were put in the holding cell. One former resident known as ES told the commission. It was it was a room like it it locked like it had a door and iron bars on the front just like your normal cell. The man now in his 60s said boys were forced to sleep on the floor of the tiny room without a pillow or even a blanket. We went to the toilet in a bucket. It was a chilling tale from a day when painful recollection, re recollections overflowed. As the commissioner dug deeper into the abuse of boys who attended homes run by the Salvation Army in New South Wales and Queensland, four former residents from Riverview gave evidence of extreme sexual and physical abuse and the alleged failures of police and welfare agencies to intervene. I felt like he had a hatred for me. I felt like he had a hatred for me as soon as I got to Riverview. ES told the commission of the man who allegedly ordered his confinement, Captain Victor Bennett. He took a disliking for some reason and the fact I just wouldn't do what they told me to do. He tried to break me. But the commission heard it was not only officers who inflicted the abuse, but older boys at the home. He was about 18, 17 or 18 years old, a big fella, and in my view, he was a sick bastard, ES told the inquiry. He made me and another fellow do things to him like suck his penis. Me and another fellow ran away. When the police caught us, I told them what was happening to us, but all they did was call Captain Bennett and said, is this happening? And he said, no, and they sent me straight back. The commission heard this was not the only time the authorities failed in their duty of care. Wally McLeod said, at one stage during his time at Riverview, he became aware that four boys had complained to officers from the Queensland Welfare Department about one alleged predator known as Captain Cowling. Mr. C Mr. McLeod said no action was taken by the officers and that when Captain Cowling found out, he had them both flogged. Nice one, Salvos, you nasty fuckers. Another former resident recalled the staff would force the boys to fight each other for their own entertainment. They just used to think, oh well, get the boys over here and then beat the crap out of each other. They were cruel bastards. If you didn't want to fight, they'd make the other boy hit you until you got mad and started to fight for real. Mr. McLeod said he received $20,000 compensation payment for the abuse he allegedly suffered, a payment he allegedly accepted under duress. It included signing, signing a form that released the institution from further liability. The hearing continues. Fuck you, Salvation Army. You are evil, and I will be there protesting next year and stick it up your fucking ass, you bastards.